What's up everyone, welcome back to my top 10 setups of the day series. Before we get started, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more of these amazing setups. The first setup on our list was submitted by Omega Zero and is a work in progress build. Here we have a laptop powered dual monitor setup with some impressively large Alienware displays. Below these monitors is what looks to be a Razer headphone stand with a Razer mouse on an extended Chroma mouse pad. Currently, the only decorations that OP has are those Nano Leaf lights, which are in a really cool and unique design. I like the way this setup is starting out, and I think it could be elevated really simply with a monitor mount and some nice lighting. Up next is this fun and summary build from Tony Stark 29. Here we've got the first triple monitor setup of the list, with this one featuring two Samsung monitors as vertical displays. I really like the cohesion between the watery wallpapers on the monitors and the desk pad mixed with the cool wooden wall art. My only real critique of this setup would be that the black bezels on the Samsung monitors look really weird with the grey monitor and keyboard, but I don't know how much there is to be done about that unfortunately. Next up is this super cool and pop culture heavy setup, this time from N7 Charizard. For their desk we've got the iconic combination of a Calbi desktop and Alex drawers from Ikea. On the desk you can see a Dell laptop functioning as a third display, as well as a Corsair mouse and HyperX mousepad. Where this setup really shines is in its decorations, which include a ton of vibrantly coloured posters that add nicely to the otherwise blue colour palette of this build. For this next setup, we've got a super minimalistic build from user Don't Give a Leaf. They've got a MacBook Pro on the far left of the desk, which appears to be connected to an Acer and Asus monitor. Below these monitors, we've got a suite of peripherals, including a Keychron wrist rest and a K2 keyboard, as well as some Logitech speakers and Sony headphones. I really like the minimal and natural decor used in this setup, and it seems like a really fantastic place to work from home. Here we have another minimalistic setup, this time from user Ghost Rave. For a display, this setup is rocking an Alienware AW3418DW monitor. Below this is a Logitech keyboard and Logitech MX Master Mouse on a SteelSeries mousepad. You might have noticed that they don't have any speakers, so for sound, they use those Surface 2 headphones. This setup is super minimal and basically only has a plant for decoration, but honestly, I think the gradient from the wallpaper looks fantastic and fills in enough of the setup. At our fifth spot in the list, we've got this awesome setup from This Is Not Chuck Norris. To start off, we do have an IKEA desk, but instead of the Alex drawers paired with the Calbi desktop, they're using the Mickey drawers, and to be honest, I think I like them even more. This dual monitor setup features an AOC and an Acer monitor. For peripherals, you can also spot KBD fans' Bella keyboard, the Shure SM57 mic, and some Edifier speakers. I really like the decorations that they've got going on with the posters, however I definitely think they should frame those three posters on the left. Up next we've got a setup from Wolfine with another very minimalistic build, but this time with a much more pastel theme. In this dual monitor setup we've got an Acer and HP monitor with both being mounted to the desk. On the desk they've got a Corsair mouse, a Razer keyboard and a pair of Logitech G733 headphones. Speaking of the desk, they're using a Linmon desk with some Hilva legs, both from Ikea. Last but not least, to top off all of this amazing gear, we have a Secret Labs cookies and cream chair. Despite being a very simple setup, I'm a huge fan of this build. Even though the build is largely empty, it doesn't feel incomplete or lacking at all, and that's probably thanks to the somewhat business of the wallpapers, which just goes to show you how much wallpapers do matter. If you're a fan of Cyberpunk or Blade Runner, then get ready to enjoy this next setup from Sam LaHers. They've got a nice IKEA desk with a countertop and some Alex drawers. They've only got one monitor, however it's an incredibly large monitor from BenQ with an attached BenQ screen bar which have quickly become a battle station staple. One of the most eye-catching things about this setup is that amazing Cyberpunk 2077 themed chair from Secret Labs that looks super comfortable and super stylish. Up on the slanted roof they've got some nano leaf lights in a really intuitive design. Up next is the ultimate pastel setup from Armour 9748. The gear in this setup is relatively tame, utilising an Asus monitor, a Logitech mouse and some JVC speakers. Where this setup shines is of course in the amazing decoration and the well done organised clutter. This setup seems like the cosiest space to sit down and make some art. Finally, we've got this last Avengers themed setup from user Parabellum94. For gear, this setup is rocking a few products from Logitech in the form of a mouse and the Z313 speakers. Of course, they also have the amazing Nanoleaf lights that mesh well with the plants on the walls. 
However, the real star of the show is that amazing replica of Stormbreaker, Thor's Hammer, which works really well with their endgame poster and the Funko Pops. This setup is easily any geek stream build. And that is the end of the list. Check out the description for a list of a lot of the gear that I've mentioned in the video. If you want to see more of these incredible setups, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss the next episode. Leave a comment down below on which setup you think should have been number one.